Hi guys, Mrs. Chick here. Uh, as you can see, I am out again today. And due to the nature of the reports that I heard from Wednesday's class and from the week before break when I was out, I wanted to check in personally and share some thoughts with you. Um, I've written you a letter because I am too tired <laughs> to simply record. Um, so it's blue, you picked it up on your way in, and you are welcome to read along with me. I am literally just going to read my letter to you so I don't mince my words. Dearest students, I am writing directly to convey my incredible disappointment and concerns regarding your choices and behaviors during our sub days before break and on Wednesday. I must first apologize for my absences as I know that my presence in many ways helps to ensure that you are best able to focus and work effectively. That said, you are approaching an age when it becomes in every way your responsibility for your own attitudes, efforts, choices, and behaviors. I'm sure you would prefer to feel respected as someone capable of making your own choices and not treated as a child, needing to be told what to do at all times. While I do my best to help guide you in that direction, neither I nor any other adult can force you to make responsible decisions. And in case of Wednesday, I was attending to far more pressing matters. What you may not know is that while you were sleeping on Tuesday night, I was not. I was in a hospital helping a very dear friend through labor. And the first break that I got was around 3 a.m. No, I had not slept, by the way. I did not take this small chance to sleep, but instead I went to the lobby and I spent over an hour writing up your sub plan. A lesson plan that would ensure you and your peers had the opportunity to learn, to raise your score on your most recent test, and to not fall behind simply because I was otherwise occupied. I did not get to sleep that night, or really much since then. I gave my one break to you instead. I don't share that to guilt you, but to help you understand that the adults in your life care. We care a lot. We want you to succeed. We want you to be supported. We want to support you. We want to help. But you are the only ones who get to choose. None of the adults in your life, myself included, can make you engage, make you learn, make you do your work. It is yours after all. The fact that many of you chose to disrupt the day's lessons and defiantly refuse to complete the work presented to you utterly perplexes me. The day was designed to benefit you, not me, not Miss Christie, certainly not your sub. I'm sorry to your sub. And so I'm faced with a difficult decision, a difficult situation and I see the need to enforce far stricter parameters than I ever have in the past around classwork. And honestly, I've never had to do this before. Never had to write a letter. I've never had to record a video to my students on a sub day. As a result, I will be cutting off all test corrections that were not seriously begun in class. They are a privilege, not a guarantee. And I will prior a lot of work on my part in order to prepare and grade them. If I look over yours and I see significant evidence that you tried in class, I will offer tutorial sessions next week for you to finish. If I do not see evidence of significant attempts, you will not be allowed to complete anything further in my class or elsewhere. The same will be true for the lab work done with the Los Gatos Quadrangle, the lab from Wednesday, and today's in-class C4 mapping lab. You have a quiz coming up on Tuesday. I will only allow attempts in class, no attempts at home this time. And you are only allowed your class notes, your homework, and the labs. You may have multiple attempts, but only in class or in this classroom at tutorial, not outside of this classroom at all for any reason. If you are participating in class, then none of this should disrupt you. You're already doing what you need to do. If you choose to disengage or become disruptive in class, you will quickly see a significant drop in your grade that I can guarantee will be difficult to recover from. 
I unfortunately was scheduled many weeks ago to be out again today for a district training. I've had less than eight hours of sleep in the last three days. So please very honestly know that I would much rather be in class with all of you than an, an all day training. I would much rather talk to you about this in person than have spent the many hours that I did writing today's lesson plan, writing and preparing for a sub, and writing all of not only this letter, but the individual little letters that many of you will be receiving. But none of us get a choice in this matter, and you need to make better choices for yourself. I am preemptively writing referrals for defiance and disruptive behaviors that were reported from the previous two sub days. If I hear even a hint that you were disruptive to today's planned activities or defiantly refusing to work, I will not hesitate to assign detentions, Saturday schools, and or referrals as necessary, as well as contacting home. But honestly, that's a lot more work than I want to come back to late on a Friday afternoon with very little sleep. And I suspect it is not the option that includes treating you the way you want to be treated. It is the option that includes treating you like a child. So please behave differently today and in the future. Make responsible and respectful decisions. Ensure that your cell phone is turned in up front and therefore not a distraction to you or those around you. It also won't be a temptation that way. Ensure that you are focused for the full class day and taking advantage of the opportunities presented to you to learn. Ensure that you are catching up on whatever missing homework or notes that you need to prepare for next week's quiz on Tuesday. And most importantly, please show some respect to yourselves, to those around you, and to the adults who want nothing more than to see you succeed. Thanks guys, I will see you on Tuesday.